Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss seven things men think women care about when in fact they really don't. <laughs> First of all, this list was compiled by my wife and business partner who asked 12 of her female friends to contribute. There'll always be women who actually care about what we say they don't care about, but that's just life. Bottom line is, if a woman is really interested in you, the seven things we discuss here may be a nice to have, but they're definitely not a need to have. One, most women don't care about how much money you have. They also don't care about the price of your car, your luxury watch, or the fact that you buy the most expensive dinner in town. However, they definitely care if the main fixation in your life is money or not. Most of the time, your work ethic, your passion, your ambition, and your hobbies matter more than your bank account. This approach can be extended to many things. It's less about what you have, but what you make with what you have. If one is just interested in how much money you make, it's probably not a good idea to date her in the first place. When I met my wife in 2006, I was a broke student and couldn't offer her anything financially. Nevertheless, she fell in love with me and I knew she was into me, not anything else, because there wasn't anything else. So you could almost argue that being poor in a way helps you in this point because people really only are interested in you and wanna spend time with you because of you and not because of anything else too. Most women don't care about how ripped you are. In fact, all the women we talked to preferred that you weren't. Why, you might wonder? Well, if you spend a lot of time at the gym and you're very ripped yourself as a man, that may be intimidating to the woman and she might feel like you judge her all the time, which can be unhealthy for the relationship. Maybe they think you look at every flaw they have or that you judge their work ethic. It definitely makes women feel self-conscious, especially if they don't have the same lifestyle approach as you do. It might also come across as you're just vain and that you just care about your appearance more so than you care about her and spending time with her. Three, 99% of all women out there don't care about your penis size. Many men out there think that the size of their penis is really important and the bigger, the better, not just for their ego, but also to satisfy women. In reality, the vast majority of penis sizes out there are just fine for most women. In fact, most women consider your size to be a non-criterium in the first place. Why? Well, it doesn't say anything about you as a person, and it doesn't even say whether you're good in bed or not. The size of your penis should never be a measure of your self-confidence or your self-worth in life. Women care more about your personality and your attentiveness in bed and outside of bed. Are you just as happy to give as to receive? Do you ask questions? Do you want to please her? These are all questions you should ask instead of focusing on the size. In all honesty, men who are fixated on their penis size likely have an issue with their self-confidence. Ultimately, women don't care and neither should you. Four, a lot of men think it's unsexy or unmanly to show feelings and be vulnerable. However, that couldn't be further from the truth. Most women are attracted by men who are emotionally stable and who can express their feelings. I think a lot of men don't wanna show emotions because they feel like they need to save face from other men who might judge them as weak. However, most women find it very sexy if men can express their feelings, especially in their presence, and it creates a stronger bond. So what does emotionally stable mean? Well, basically, women like men who can cry when they watch a movie if they feel like it. In general, it means that men are willing to share their emotions particularly in a private situation when they're overmanned by their feelings. Now, it doesn't mean that you should cry every time in public that you have a disagreement because that's very unsexy. Overall, being vulnerable and capable of expressing one's feelings in a relationship is very important, especially if done so in a genuine way. Five, some men like to put women on a pedestal and compliment them all day long. However, that's not what most women actually want. In fact, many women don't like to be worshipped. Yes, everyone likes a genuine compliment every once in a while, but if you're being put on a pedestal all the time, it can lead to a disconnect between you as partners. Most women want a connection with you and they wanna be treated as an equal to you, not as something that is superior or inferior. They may also feel that they can't be vulnerable themselves or share things because that would crush the illusion of that perfect body or that 
perfect woman. Being idealized as a woman can be very flattering in the beginning, but long term, it likely has strong consequences. At the end of the day, nobody is perfect and everybody has flaws. And it's important to be able to talk about them and not being in that mindset that everything has to be perfect because that will lead to a woman feeling she has to wear makeup at night so she looks perfect when she wakes up. If you put a woman on a pedestal, chances that your relationship will break apart and you'll both walk away disappointed are very high. Six, don't tell a woman she's gorgeous looking all the time. Yes, it's okay to compliment your spouse, or your partner, or the woman in your life. However, if you repeatedly just tell them that they look gorgeous, it becomes old quite quickly. Also, if you just give compliments based on her appearance, she might feel that all you care about is the way she looks, not her as a person. So instead of complimenting her on looking gorgeous, focus on the things that she does actively and the things that she cares about. If you can come up with a compliment about that, it will be much more gratifying and better in the long run for your relationship. Seven, most men are really into their hair, but in reality, most women don't care much or not at all about your graying hair or your receding hairline. Many women also associate gray hair with maturity, which is a big plus for us men. Most women also don't care about the receding hairline. They care about your character, your humor, and the way you are as a person. For example, just take a look at Jason Statham, who doesn't have much hair, or George Clooney, who has a lot of gray hair. They're still very popular actors. So if you're in your 20s, 30s, or 40s, and your hair is getting grayer, or you're losing hair, just own it and have it be part of your personality. The worst thing you can do is trying to cover it up by dyeing your hair, because it's always painfully obvious, and most people will see it, especially women, and question you and your self-confidence. Honestly, it just makes you look worse than in your natural state, and because of that, you should simply just not do it. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that little bell, and subscribe to our channel so videos like this come right to your inbox. In today's video, I'm wearing a sport coat combination, which consists of a brown herringbone jacket that is single-breasted. I'm pairing it with a burgundy vest, a blue and white striped shirt with cufflinks for French cuffs. I chose to go with some gold tone and tiger's eye cufflinks in brown from Fort Belvedere that match the color of my shoes and the character of the outfit. My tie is a red, green, and orange wool shelly tie from Fort Belvedere, and it picks up tones from my outfit and ties it all together. And to contrast that, I chose a pair of brownish gray slacks with a fine orange stripe that again, works well with the overall color scheme of this outfit. My pocket square is likewise from Fort Belvedere, made out of wool silk blend. It picks up the colors of blue and orange and red, as well as green, to tie it all together. For my shoes, I opted for a medium antique brown derby shoe with wingtips that go well with my cufflinks, as well as with my jacket. The socks are shadow stripe from Fort Belvedere, and the color tone goes well with my overall warm outfit. You can find all Fort Belvedere accessories in our shop here.